Good morning, Finders Keepians. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rachel. And I'm Sarah. And we wanted to share with you today our new Autumn Splendor Easy Peasy Kit that is up in our shop. It is. Shortly. It is. It's going to be up any minute now. Any second. We're just oh, we're just putting the finishing touches on it. Sarah got a little behind. It's okay. Rachel has allergies. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little sniffly, so she's I, a sniffly I today. apologize. So just so you know, she's scoopy. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I'm goopy. I, and I have to sit next to her, so. Yeah. yeah. Lucky Sarah. So here, at Rachel, you're laying out all the stuff. I'm just there's kinda, a lot. There's a lot of stuff. There's Am a I lot right? of paper. There's a lot of ribbon. There's, there's some two washi. spools of ribbon plus a length of yes. some metallic ribbon. That's pretty gold ribbon. This yeah. is a brown satin, and this is a purple sheer. Uh huh. And then you have all these other little bits and pieces here. You get three glimmer brads and three wooden pieces, and those vary. And those, the, yeah, not the brads, but the wooden. The pieces. wooden pieces they might be a little bit different shapes. Yeah. Um, and here I, I had printed out a bunch of pictures and I just wanted to reference our photo resizing and InDesign, um, tips and tricks, tips and techniques yeah. that we did a couple weeks ago. So if you want to know how to get, you know, make your pi pictures be any size that you want them to be. It's really a, a quick and easy, uh, way to do it, uh, to resize your photos to be whatever you want mm -hmm. for your layout. So obviously I'm doing three by fours and four by sixes for the pocket layouts. Um, these are the two 12 by 12 sheets that you get. Now we're not cutting these for you because you may want to do something different with this kit. Um, and just as a tip too, when I cut anything for my easy peasy kits, I do cut them just a smidge less than four by six or less than three by four. So it's like a 16th of an, I mean, it's literally, it's just minimal. She just shaves a little off just shave so a that little it off. slides right in the pocket. Cause I don't know if you've ever noticed sometimes if you do four by six, it kind of like, uh, uh, uh. And especially, there. especially like that. you're fighting with it. <laughs> and especially if you are adding embellishments that give it bulk. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to get things in there. That's right. Um, so here I'm just kind of looking through all of the, the little pieces that I get. This card you could use as a 3 by 4 as is, which I thought was really cute. But um, I wanted to cut it apart so that I could put these items, these little phrases, mm -hmm. autumn is in the air and cozy autumn days, into like on top of photos. Um, to give them uh, a little bit of extra oomph, so to speak. <laughs> you are embellishing. You're going to embellish. I'm going to embellish. You're going to embellish I'm gonna with them. I'm going to embellish with And that's them. a really fun word to say. You can say that at home. Yes. Please yeah. feel free. And it's not even a dirty word, so no, no one will mind. It's Just awesome. say embellish. Embellish. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on how you say it, though. You could say embellish. <laughs> and then it means something and else. it's sexy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when I start my process... Um, I don't know that that's really sexy. It's not okay. sexy. That's why... <laughs> I'm moving on, Sarah. I'm moving okay. on. All right. Um, <laughs> so when I do my process, I kind of lay everything out, obviously. I kind of have just stuff everywhere. And then I sort of I look at the pictures. And um, I don't always, I don't start necessarily with the pictures. Um, I kind of am making these cards like a core kit would be if you do Project Life and you buy the Becky Higgins Project Life boxes of mm -hmm. 5 million cards. Um, this isn't 5 million. It's, it's close. There's a lot of paper. <laughs> a lot, make of, a lot paper. of cards. Um, but I, I kind of make the cards first and then come back and, and tie them in with photos. So this is kind of just a, a quick um, how you could just sit down with your photos and make a really quick, uh, that top left card that says changing clouds. Um, I just adhered that to the back of one of the other papers. Um, which, by the way, just let me say, the the burgundy or the blackberry bliss-ish color, the purpley color on the top left, and that turquoise tealy color, those papers are not going to be cut down for you. Oh, right, right, right. You and get the everything. white and the cream yeah. papers so are you not. Can do, so you can actually, you can do whatever you wanted with this kit. This could be like a traditional 12 by 12. It could be. It yeah. could totally. There's enough paper in there to definitely do some traditional scrap Or card making. Or, or card making. Yeah, or anything you want. Whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this were these were those strips from that other paper, and I just I, I now I've so so initially I made sort of a layout, and now what I'm doing is I'm laying out the different types of four by six cards, and I'm embellishing them. <laughs> Word of the day: <laughs> embellish. Ding 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 ding. ding. Yeah. So um, this is uh, one of the wooden elements that I put some wink of Stella on, um, just to give it a little <laughs> bit of shimmer, and the puppies wanted to say hi to everybody. Yeah. As usual mm -hmm. um, and so uh, this was this was a fun one I wanted to make like a little pocket oh, okay so um, because it, it was such a thick strip um, you couldn't really cut Gosh, those pumpkins down those to papers do anything are so else. pretty 
the colors are so. I mean, the video. You know what I love is that don't do so it often. You know, autumn themes are all earth tony, mm-hmm. and they've really done a nice job of making this really colorful, but still that autumn feel. Feel, yeah, really pretty. Yeah, the 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 teal and the purple and stuff. It's just it's so lovely. Oh, and you put a little journaling card in so there. So I put a little journaling card, and then here I am going to put one of those little word phrases. And you phrases. know, to journal that, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be like, you know, Thanksgiving 2015. Mm-hmm. You know, like just, just like the, a label of what it is. We don't have to go overboard with our journaling. I think, I, I'm a writer, so I know I like people Sarah to likes tell their the stories. Words, yeah. But I don't want you to feel intimidated by And I'm very cards. intimidated by journaling. So when Sarah mm-hmm. says that, it mm-hmm. makes me feel validated. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Um, and, and that, so this is really what I do is I basically just take one of the cards and I take some of the other embellishment pieces and mm-hmm. say, okay, you know, what can I do with this? Um, this one, I decided to put one of the glimmer brads in. Um, and I don't know if you saw, I actually wrapped that 12 inch strip around the entire card, but then I went back and I put that glimmer brad in there and I wanted to hide it. So I pulled it up a little bit and mm-hmm. put the brad behind Oh, very clever. The, the, the paper so that it was hidden. Um, there's a lot of... I like to use staples and brads and stuff when I do these. Uh, and so little tricks uh, of ways to kind of cover things up on mm-hmm. the backside because it's hard to cover up staples. I'm going to do that in just a minute on one of the other pieces because uh, I'm going to staple some ribbon mm-hmm. uh, down. I love this washi, this purple and this orange. Um, it kind of feels Halloweeny, but then I put this gold uh, metallic ribbon over it and stapled it. And that's here we are, <laughs> uh, a little a little foreshadowing there. And uh, I just it just made it look not Halloweeny with mm-hmm. that gold ribbon. And then add a little bit of a more formal holiday. Yeah, a little feel holiday, to it. little glitz. Yeah. That's real pretty, and it catches the light really nicely. Yeah, it's it's uh, I just I really. <clears throat> It's it's kind of like the first card I do, mm-hmm. I never like, mm-hmm. you know? It's a warm-up. It's a warm-up, yeah. yeah. So it's your like, first card you know is what? a warm-up. It's just like when you're making pancakes. Yeah. The first pancake is never it's any good. It's never any good. And you usually just have to throw it out and, yes. you know, um, or give it to I the g- dogs. I give it to the corgis. Yeah. Yeah, but... Um, but then I, you like get warmed up and I just was like going to town and even you'll see at the end of the video, there's one more card. I'm like, oh, I'm going to add this. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of goes berserk. It, it, you kind of, there's a lot of paper, you guys. There's mm-hmm. really a lot of paper in this kit. Um, you know, Rachel and I were talking yesterday about um, the, how scrapbooking can be overwhelming sometimes. It's very, it can. And well, I know that Becky Higgins, one of the things that she wants to do is kind of alleviate that with pocket scrapbooking. But right. even sometimes, like, making these and, like, getting them into an album can be kind of tricky. Like, you make all the cards and it's really fun and then you're kind of done and you don't necessarily want to put it in an album. But right. I can totally see this, these cards, like, in a little box on a coffee right. table that you, you could just kind of you go You could even, through. exactly, like a little recipe box. Yeah. Or, or, our, or, or like, our box kit. Mm-hmm. That we did a couple, couple yeah, months back. And, and I think that that could be really fun too. Oh, and look at oh, what I doing love here. This. I love this little detail. Watch that. So I actually put one of those little word strips. Way to compliment yourself, top, Rachel. I, I, no, no, seriously. <laughs> I was so impressed with myself on this one. Um, and I put it over a piece of ribbon, and I just <coughs> thought that was really cute. Yeah, it is. It's really cute. I am bad. I like how you do the little banner edges on the ribbon. I think that's yes. real sweet. That's always an easy thing. So here's one of those examples of that was the card that I stapled on the or I used a brad on. And so you can see the little I'm pointing to the screen. You yeah. can see the little <laughs> brad up top. So I'm going to cover it up with a piece of that brown satin ribbon and another one of those little word uh, flags. And I thought and these cards are great for journaling or you could put a smaller photo. Mm-hmm. You can put a three by four on there uh, or you can crop something down to a little bit smaller. Then oh, I decided she's tearing I needed paper. to tear some paper. Oh, you animal. And then I got out Sarah's distress Oh, my, Sarah's she's getting the ink. Distress Here inks. we go. And it, this is one of the um, one of the new or newer. Yeah, the oxide ones. Oxide. So you don't necessarily have. have. Those are supposed to be used as a wet technique, but they work fine as yeah. just regular inks, too. Yeah, they stamp really well. And the colors are really nice. And so this was kind of like a little pocket, uh, a little pocket for your photo. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a picture of my girl sleeping. Um, another tip that I used Just for... Just like little angels. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> sure they are. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, because they're teenagers, so you know they're really Well, sweet. they weren't teenagers at this picture, so okay. yeah, they were still a little sweet. Okay. <laughs> a little. Um, <clears throat> but with this one, I, uh, just a way to find photos, um, 
because when I when I do it, I don't always do stuff chronologically. Yeah. So I just went into my app and did a search for November. Yeah. And found all, you know, I just was looking through all the pictures for November and I just printed out like 12 or 15. From different years. From different years and, and stuff like that. I kind of do a hodgepodge of stuff. And that's great for the holidays because it can, it opens it up to some then and now yeah. opportunities. Yeah. I just happened, I was doing a scrapbooking thing a while back and. Oh, 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 Sarah, wait, okay. hold that thought. I made a boo-boo here. So I put the tape, I want to make another pocket and I put the tape on the wrong side. So this is baby powder. If you ever put adhesive oh, right. where it's not supposed to go, you put yeah. some baby powder on there, and then look, it's not sticky in the middle, but on the sides it is. Yeah. See? Okay? So nice. then I did it right. So back to your story. Oh, okay. And now. I was just saying, I found this photo um, of my daughter, and I remembered a photo of myself from when I was about the same age that was really, really yeah. similar. Yeah. And I went digging around. And you and found I, it? And I found it, and <gasps> I did a little spread with the then and now, and it was really kind of fun, especially because it wasn't a planned one. It was just well, It's like, just an impromptu. It was the one where she's holding the baby chicks. Yes. And I have the same yes. one. Yes. <clears throat> That's crazy cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I have one that we... Uh, Sarah's gonna see now she's the one that's goopy I know we're having allergies today um I we have a picture of me and my cousins from when we were really little and we're little stair steps we're all lined up and mm -hmm. we're stair steps so kind of the first time we were all back together as adults um, are you ruffling that I'm ruffling that that is so cool so I put a strip of washi down and then I put a strip of adhesive on top of that whole purple washi because this is the sheer ribbon. Uh -huh. And so then I'm just like, ruffle, 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 ruffle. Oh, so clever. See, Rachel knows how to do things with ribbon. I'm always a little bit like, I got this ribbon. And, and now, now what? what? <laughs> I can tie a bow around this. I can tie a bow around that. <laughs> but she's really good at coming up with new Thank ways to you. use ribbon. <clears throat> I, I love ribbon. It's always fun to, to play with. But again, like the first time we got together as adults, we did the same picture. We stood in the same order. We were not stair steppy anymore. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but it was it made for a cute then and now. So this card actually was just a really simple. I just used some of the paper and I thought, oh, I could put a picture in the middle of that. I could put a journaling card in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that was a sweet one. Yeah. So it fit a little three by four nicely um, just by cutting some little strips. Oh, there was my hair. Sorry about that. It's hard to keep your I hair know, out sometimes of these shots. Because <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of us are, as crafters, we kind of like lean in. You got to see what you're doing. You but when you're see. making a video, you can't put your head in there, you know, and that can be kind of tricky. So when things are crooked, <clears throat> just forgive us. We're yeah. trying to make sure you can see everything. Well, I'm sure they forgive <laughs> us. Everyone knows. This is, this was, um, I found this, this quote called fluviophile. And those fluviophiles are people that love the rain. And if you ask, if you know me, if you ask any of my friends, I am a different person when it's rainy and cloudy. It's just, I'm happier because um, when it's hot and sunny, I'm a cranky pants. <laughs> she really is. So I had this picture. I can I can testify to the cranky shush, pants shush, part. Shush, shush, okay. <laughs> shush. Just I did saying. say ask my friends. I mean, so she did bring it up. I'm I just, did. Yeah, I'm confirming that. Yes, <laughs> okay, fine. that's true. So I've made several of these little cards. Oh, so now you're doing some and little so layouts. So now I'm kind of doing layouts for you. So. That's cute. You can kind of see uh, adding in some photos, adding in some three by fours. How well all those colors look. These colors are Together. so yummy, delicious. Yeah. I can't even explain how. I like, like how you've taken in things that you've knitted with that knitting paper. Yeah. Yeah. That knitting paper is so gorgeous when yeah. you see it in person. I mean, it, it obviously it looks like knitted knitted yarn, mm -hmm. um, but it's just really beautiful uh, quality to that mm -hmm. photo. These paper house papers are really <laughs> rich. Pretty. They're photorealistic. We, we for haven't sure. carried a lot of paper house, but every once in a while I'll see something and I'll just be like, oh, like the Where the Wild Things Are paper. The Where the like, Wild Things must Are. Must have. And then this stuff was the, like, the, oh, I got to have our, it. Um, our noir kit, yes. um, the black and white, is yes. so stark and yeah, so stunning. Really stunning. That I just, I love that one too. Um, so be sure and check those things out in yeah. your shop. But I, I mean, then it just becomes, you got to figure out which pictures you want, you know? So. There's my kids jumping in the leaves. I mean, come on. What says fall better than jumping in the leaves, right? A big old pile. So then I had to put some little leaves up there mm -hmm. and, and bring all of that together. And it, it just, it. I love these colors. I love the way these kits turned out. Um, the little foxes and raccoons and there's oh, those a little are hedgehog. Really sweet. We haven't really talked about those very much, but they're very sweet. And they could be even for like a nursery spread because they're it very. totally could be. Really sweet. <clears throat> Um, 
and just everything coordinates. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I can't believe we only had two sheets of paper and we're able two sheets of the paper house paper mm-hmm. and we got so many different textures yeah. and colors and feels and they're all just beautiful they are you, did, you outdid yourself rachel thank you all very thank nicely very done much. so now i'm just see here i am wait no just one more card <laughs> just one more card <laughs> oh yeah okay so you had a night oh that tree is beautiful so i wanted to there were a couple of four by fours that i think look great on a four by six background um so this is just kind of an overview of the the four by sixes that I made. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's two sets of these. And you didn't even really make a dent in the paper. No, I, I still <laughs> had um, a lot of the white and the vanilla, which also do not come cut. Those are eight and a half by 11 sheets um, that are not cut for you um, so that you can do whatever you want. And then yes, we didn't cut them just for you. I didn't cut them just for you. <laughs> Not that I didn't want to cut them. Well, I we just, just wanted them to have more options. Yes. So, Because maybe you don't do Project Life scrapbooking, yeah. and these elements still work great for traditional scrapbooking or mm-hmm. cards, like Sarah right. said earlier. Um, it was just a lot of fun and, and yeah, lots of fun stuff to do. All right. Thanks, Rach. We'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>